Windows 7 Backup includes the ability to restore your entire system in the event of a hard drive failure or perhaps if your operating system becomes corrupt. As long as you choose to create a system image, which is created by default, then this option will be available to you. Now, there are two ways we can start this process. The first is to choose Recover System Settings or your computer from here. The second way is to create a system repair disk. It is a very good idea to have a system repair disk stashed away somewhere safe. If Windows will not start normally, you can use the system repair disk to start your PC and initiate a recovery. So for this tutorial, we'll be using the Backup and Restore control panel window to initiate the restore. So let's click on Recover System Settings or your computer. Normally, before restoring a system image, you would try the System Restore function first. See the notes below the video for our links to our System Restore tutorials. For this example, I'm going to skip straight to Advanced Recovery Methods. From this window, I'll choose Use a system image created earlier to recover your computer. Now, Windows will give us the option of backing up our files. It's worth explaining here why we're presented with this option. When we restore from a system image, everything on our computer is overwritten. It's as if we are rewinding our computer to the time when we took the image. That means any files or folders which we have changed or added since then will be lost, unless we back them up. Now, I'm going to skip this part for this example, but keep in mind that you may lose recently changed files if you don't back them up now. And Windows even warns us about this. OK, so I'm all set. I'm going to click on Restart. This will reboot my computer. Windows will reboot into recovery mode ready to start restoring our system image. We need to choose a language, in my case, United Kingdom, and click on Next. Right, so Windows has scanned for system images and found the last one we made. If you wanted to restore from a different system image, you could choose Select system image here. We'll just go with the latest image for this example. Click on Next. Here we can choose some advanced restore options. We won't go into these here, so I'm just going to click on Next. Now we are ready to begin. Take note of the warning down here. Make sure your computer is plugged into the wall and tell everyone else in the house not to turn it off. Then click on Finish. And yes, we are sure. Now the process is started. I'm going to pause the video recording until it's completed. OK, when the image restore process is complete, Windows will reboot automatically. Your system is now completely restored to an earlier date. Let's log back in. If you took a backup before you started this process, you can now use the Backup and Restore window to restore any files by clicking here. Restoring these files is done in exactly the same way as we showed you in the previous video.